Yeah, I would get one home if you want to work. We could work. I'm, I'm, not, I'm never mad at generals linking up. So, again, you know, I wouldn't even have acknowledged him if I didn't think he was worthy of, of, of an oppo- opponent. A lot of niggas talk shit. I don't acknowledge him, but 50. Oh, yeah, let's go. I want to see. I want to know how real it is. I want to see your television network. I want to see you direct the movie. I want to see your clothing line. I want to see if you're the real deal. Test, see me, see if I'm the real deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold on. Listen. Oh, God. Here, talk to him for a second. What? Just for a second. Oh, God. Oh, you're not saying nothing. Look, so. You're not saying nothing. Hold on. So, download him. <laughs> All right, you, nah, that's okay. You know, obviously, I feel like I need to uh, <laughs> address the team. First of all, they know yet. Sorry about that. First of all, shit is not dentures. These are my grills, right? <laughs> and what happened was, um, you know, I have to go get implants put in. So I have implants, and I got them 20 years ago. And every 20 years, you got to switch them out. So I have to do a surgery pause oral and uh and the fucked up shit is once they do it it's shit. and yeah so i'm gonna show you a lot okay i got so that's what happened the punch but you know i thought it was hilarious i ain't tried to edit it i think it's good for jokes and shit um but yeah they're not dentists and i think it's hilarious Yo, what's up? This bruh man from the fifth float. And you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. If he's a real deal, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? If he's the real deal, show me what you got. If you're the real deal, then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind two soldiers getting together. If he could produce, if he could do whatever, where is the real deal? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. My fault. Yeah. Yo, I know you guys saw that. Dame Dash, you know, dentures fell out. <laughs> Bottom teeth fell out while he was talking, you know. And I'm a I'm a Dame Dash fan. Always loved Dame Dash. Love, you know, entrepreneurial ship. I love his leadership the whole nine. But him and Fifty meeting up and joining forces and whatever. Yeah, that's not gonna look too good. And you, if you think this is bad, hey, when Fifty gets a hold of this video, it's a wrap. No one control better than 50 Cent. He goes, yes, yeah, so I, I was, you know, I was watching the tape. You know what I'm saying? I was watching the tape and I, I was just sitting there and I was watching. He said he wanted to get together and you know, see if I'm a real deal. And then his, his dentures fall, fall the fuck out. <laughs> his dentures fell out. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. His dentures fell out. So, I mean, if you're talking about someone being a real deal, I mean, you got you to gotta make sure your dentures, you know, are tight. You got to make, you got to glue them shits down. Oh my goodness, Dame. Right before he popped out, he said, yo, I wanna see if he's the real deal. Pop! Hold on, hold on. Whoa. As soon as he said, I wanna see if 50's the real deal, his bottom teeth popped out. So it was pretty much, he was being a hypocrite. I wanna see if you're the real deal. I wanna see if you're the real deal. Well, that did not look like you were the real deal at that point, Dame. And I love Dame, real talk, but Yo, that shit was fucked up. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. You know, as soon as I said it, I said, yo, I want to see if the real deal and my fucking fake, my fucking dentures pop out. That shit was whack. You know what I'm saying? That shit was whack. I'm from Harlem. That shit never happened to me. <laughs> you can't even come back from that. How do you come back from that? You say, I want to see if you're the real deal. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I want to see if you're the real deal. Let's talk about it, y'all. Dame Dash earlier today took to IG to address the viral video of his dentures falling out on camera. That's right. You heard that correctly. According to Dame, those were not dentures. Those were his diamond grill. Okay, I don't know who he think he fooling, but here in Baltimore, where I'm from, listen, we wear fronts, okay? I have some tops and bottoms. Listen, you take them fronts out, 
your face don't sink in, okay? That was a dead giveaway that those was dentures, all right? Anytime you take them joints out and your face sink in like an old work boot, listen, those is dentures. But whatever, okay, damn, you got that. I'm glad to see you got a sense of humor because that had to be the worst time ever for your teeth or your dentures or grills, whatever you want to try to label it, okay? For your, for, <laughs> shout out to NREC, your jibs, the fallout on cam. At the worst time ever, knowing 50, you know, he, he doesn't let up. Of course, he, he took his time. He could have reacted to that video late last night, but for whatever reason, he got on IG early this morning, reacted to it, and here we are, right? You got uh, Atheon Crockett, Spice Adams, they doing a parody of it. Now you got Godfrey reacting to this, man. I mean, look, man, this is a moment. Dame Dash going viral this time. Not, you know, it's not about him talking about Jay-Z or him being asked about Jay-Z in the interview. Right now, this is an interesting conversation for me because Dame has challenged 50 not to, you know, put out a diss record. But no, let's, let's see who has the better platform, right? You got Dame Dash, America New Network, 50 Cent Action. This is uh, his new streaming platform. Uh, so again, I'm curious to see how this plays out because Dame Dash has been doing this for years. He knows all about, you know what I'm saying, the ups and downs that goes into putting out your own platform. Dame has went through a lot over the years. Of course, people, you know, they talk about, you know, the narrative that surrounds working with Dame. However, he's always been invested in, you know, owning his own content. And then you got 50, him being the hustler who he is, like I said, I think this is a, a, a dope battle to have, right? Because, again, all we're going to get as fans is dope content, right? Whether it's 50 putting out projects, Dame Dash. Listen, I'm all for it, right? Now you see Godfrey, Atheon, Crockett. Listen, there's a lot of talented people in the industry that needs the opportunities. And as far as I'm concerned... 50 Cent Dame Dash, they could be the ones to provide the platforms for all of these talented people who are in need of work, right? Seeing how Hollywood wouldn't strike, everybody was sitting at home trying to figure out how they was going to feed their family. Listen, while everyone now is, is you know, trying to fight back to normalcy, everyone is trying to, um, you know, bounce back post-COVID, especially the box office numbers. People aren't going to the movies you know what I mean? Like they once did before COVID. So now it just creates an opportunity for people to lock in on their own content, their own platforms. And listen, we need to support our own. You get what I mean? So again, I'm curious to see how this battle plays out. Let's see if 50 drops, a, you know what I mean? A series of movies in response to Dame because he dropped the project yesterday as well. So like I said, this is an interesting conversation to have. And as far as I'm concerned, our people need all of the opportunities they can get. Even my man, shout out MREC TV. He has his uh, Spooky Hours app. You get what I mean? Like, we're moving in that direction, right? In a new day where you can have ownership of your own content. The only issue that comes with it is you have to do the work. You have to deal with the politics that comes with it, right? Of course, it's a longer journey. One would have to travel. However, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's worth the reward in the end because so many people in the industry talk about getting robbed, right? Not just in, in the music business, clearly in Hollywood. You get what I'm saying? So what isn't better than having your own, creating your own, funded by your own, right? We got to start getting in the mindset of supporting our own so we can, you know, provide opportunities for our people so that way they're not codependent on Hollywood and being typecasted in these roles. So listen, again, I'm all for it. I want to know what do y'all think about Dame Dash and his challenge with 50 Cent. I know everyone's laughing about the dentures falling out, like my man Rex said. My man Jibs fell out on cam. You know, <laughs> like I said, internet going to have a failed day with that. That had to be the worst time for this man's teeth to fall out, especially in, in the middle of him trying to explain the reason for why he's, you know, issuing a battle to 50 Cent. Because, again, once the laughs die down, because I know y'all going to go crazy in the comment sections, I'm curious to see if this is something that's, you know, people going to take serious, right? As far as viewing this challenge as a worthy challenge and saying, you know what, let me go pull up on, you know, Dame Dash platform today and see what he dropped. Let me pull up on 50 Cent's platform and see what he put out today. Let me pull up on MREC Spooky Hours 
You get what I mean? And see what new episode he dropped today. Like, we got to start getting in the mindset of really supporting our own because, as y'all see, these streaming platforms, they're killing us with these uh, subscription fees, man. Pretty soon, everybody going to be on uh, Tubi or Crackle or Pluto, wherever the free network's at, okay? Stream East or whatever the hell you... <laughs> Fire Stick, anything other than these expensive-ass apps that constantly keep increasing the prices. And like I said... I mean, what else is that, you know, left for us to do outside of just creating our own for each other? So, again, I'm curious to hear what are your thoughts about this conversation in general? Of course, uh, I know y'all have plenty of jokes down in the comment section below about Dame Dash's grill. <laughs> oh, man. But again, that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. <laughs> <laughs>